Greetings, Boogie fans! Michael here, and welcome to the newest episode of my Pokemon Ultra Sun. Let's play walk through my very first journey through these brand new Pokemon games. If you have been enjoying the series, don't forget to leave a like, make sure you answer the comment question down below, and if you missed the last episode, you're going to want to check it out. We had a pretty intense battle against the, 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 the upper left Elite Four member. As you can see from the glowing things, I've done the, the lower left and the upper left. Now we're about to do the upper right, because I'm doing the same left to right thing I did in the original Sun. Um, I don't know who it is. We'll see. Um, I always make my preparations. Oh, I did receive this product free from Nintendo. Please don't kill me, Nintendo. I said it. I said it. And, oh, one thing. <laughs> I, I wanted to address this because I'm sure a lot of you guys talked about it in the comments. You're seeing this several weeks after I recorded it, but I was talking with Jubilee just now and realized what happened after the fact. In the last battle against um, Olivia's Gigalith, I used Thunder Punch on it with Halucha instead of Brick Break because I was like, oh, it has Sturdy. I have to break the Sturdy. Um, and as a result of not Okoing it, Gigalith... KO'd Halucha with Stone Edge, and looking back on it, I realized that was super dumb, because when Gigalith came in, it said Sand Stream, and then the Sandstorm whipped up, so it, I knew it, I like, had very clear evidence that it didn't have Sturdy, and I still just assumed it had Sturdy, so I'm sure a lot of you guys said something in the comments about that, but I agree that was dumb, <laughs> but it's over now, time to move on to the next Elite Four member, uh, the symbol... Was that what Acerola's symbol was before? I think it was. It looks like it's still Acerola. Yes, it is. Okay, all right. Uh, time to change the team. We are going to give you uh, Incinium Z for some malicious moon salt in here. All right. Um... Oh, did she lead with Sableye last time? We're gonna give you the, uh, the Ghost DMZ. Cause you never know what's gonna happen. Um, I'm going to remove the Fight DMZ from you cause I want Acrobatics to be good again cause I might actually use Acrobatics in this battle. What are you holding? You still have the Quick Claw. Okay, that's what I want. Water EMZ. Alright, this looks fine. Oh, actually, I'm gonna give you the Black Glasses. Um. For this battle. Where are my Black Glasses? There you go. So, Crunch will be better. Um. Alright, and then let's leave with the Rock. Hopefully, we can just Darkest Lariat everything into Oblivion. Um, but let's find out. Hey, girl. Hiya, Acerola here, bringing an old Royal Touch to the Pokemon League. I had a feeling... So, I predicted that Malane was going to be a member. Um, I was pretty sure he wasn't going to replace Acerola... Because of the specific fact that in Mina's trial, we didn't battle her. Um, like, that was like, yeah, there's no way they took her out because... Are we the same height? Yeah, we are. Why do you get to be an Elite Four member? I should be an Elite Four member. Nanu said maybe he can't refuse a Tapu choosing him to serve as Kahuna, but he'd be darned if he had to serve as one of the Elite Four just because some guy asked him. I know that's the case, but that's still funny. So I guess I'll just have to battle hard enough to make up for his not being here. All right. You're so upbeat, Acerola. You totally can afford nicer clothes than that, though. Like, your family's royalty. Like, what are you, what are you doing? Banet! That is something we can darkest lariat. All right. I was afraid she'd leave with a Sableye. <laughs> this way, if Sableye is there, we can bring in Ninetales. Not it back to... You went, wow, cool. Thanks, man. That's nice. Oh, dodging the sound waves! Oh, 
Spinning top of doom. One shot! Nice! I haven't one shot all that many Pokemon in this league. All right, more power. Palisand, ooh, um, mm hmm. What are you weak to? See, I could keep him in here, but the problem is that he's weak to ground. I could bring in Toxpex, but the problem is that he's weak to ground. I could bring in, uh, Vikavolt, an energy ballad. That's something I could do. Yeah, I also don't want to hit it with Liquidation, because I think it has, like, water compaction, like, boost its defense or something like that. It's got some ability if it gets hit by a water-type move, so we don't want to use... What do I have again? <laughs> What's my team? <laughs> um... Oh, Flurry! Flurry, it's weak to ice. Okay, yeah, let's do this. This should be fine. It's gonna do less than it has been because they're not holding the Never Melt Ice, but it's not gonna do less by much. This is our strongest Pokemon. This has the Ghost DMZ, I just realized. This has the Ghost DMZ. I should have kept Incineroar and Dark DMZ. Ah, uh, um. What is Hexes? What is Never Ending Nightmares power? 160, okay? So, 160 compared to Ice Beam, which is 90 times 1.5. Let's do it, guys. Let's use a Ghost-type Z-move with nine tails and hope it one-shots. Because Ice Beam is... They're both two times super effective. But Never Ending Nightmare is more powerful. Okay, let's hope we don't waste this. <laughs> I just got, I want to do this because this thing knows, this thing has the, it's our strongest Pokemon. It's level 57, which means it has the Z crystal. I don't actually know what this looks like. Ooh. I think it's cool that this is just an Alolan Ninetales doing this. Oh my god. Let's go! <laughs> KO'd it with a ghost type Z move on an Alolan Ninetales. That is awesome. Delmice. What are you weak to? Let's just bring in Incineroar. Incineroar is gonna resist the uh gonna resist the hits, whereas uh Ninetales will not. Hello, sir. Yeah, because <laughs> Ninetales, like, does not have very many resistances, because it's- Oh, what?! Ah, nuts. <laughs> Alright, well, she's gonna use a full restore, clearly, so, uh, let's just, I guess, Thunder Punch it? And hope it does enough damage for her to not use another full restore? Like, it does little enough damage, but enough so that Darkest Lariat will still KO in the next turn. Oh, that's gonna be close. Let's find out. Yes! All right! This is going swimmingly! Way to go, the rock! Frostlass. We will keep battling. For we resist any ice type attacks. Hello. You dying now. I'm gonna use a, need to use a Leopard Berry on Darkest Lariat after this. Oh, come on! God, I hate that booty. Come on. Yes! Alright, we're switching if any other Pokemon makes sense. <laughs> Hooray for Ion! Driftblim! Another Pokemon makes sense. We gotta get rid of this confusion. Let's use, uh... Let's use Ion. Ion hasn't gotten to battle all that much. 
He KO'd the Metagross. And if Kahili is still the next one, it's gonna get to battle a whole lot. What's up, dude? The Quick Claw! <laughs> Please one shot. Let's go! <laughs> Quick Claw, so OP on a super slow Vika Volt. All right, guys, we beat Acerola, Acerola, however you pronounce her name. I'm speechless, you've done me in. Ghost type isn't that great of a typing, honestly. That was not that hard. That was definitely the easiest of the ones we've done so far. I'm super pumped about Ghost DMZ KOing, uh, KOing freaking, what do you call it? KOing Palisand, though. That was awesome. I, like, can't believe I, like, I had an ice type and I'm like, let's use the Ghost DMZ. It's more powerful. I do think I want to try, I think that's a good strategy. Preserve the Z moves for the Pokemon on their team that you know has the Z move. Um, does my team even need to be healed? No, I didn't take a hit. My team did not take a single hit. Holy crap, Acerola, get good. <laughs> All right, is there any other PP I need to restore? No, you didn't battle. Um, there's only, yeah, 11's plenty. Um, I used one hex, one Z move. All right, guys, uh, looks like we're good to go for this episode already. Sweet, next battle, we're gonna take on the final Elite Four member. Whoever it may be. Uh, probably still Kahili. I feel like I saw the wing symbol, but we will see. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. Make sure you answer the comment question down below. And that is all I have for now. So until next time, big fans, you gotta catch them all!